this is Terry from Fiberscope.net and today we're going to be discussing two of our light handles. Um, one is the new Spark XTR that we are selling and one is an older competitor's version that we used to carry. Um, we're going to be looking at the intensity between the two to show which one's brighter. Um, this one seems to be one of the stronger ones that's on the market available now, but I think you'll see that our new light handles are, are um, going to put out a lot more light intensity. Um, when you're comparing both lights, they'll both have intensity control, so you can turn the illumination up or down. Um, it's good for some applications if you're getting a reflection off of either a surface or a metal part. They'll both have rechargeable batteries, and on full maximum illumination, you're going to be looking at about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, on less intensity, you can usually get the battery to last a bit longer, but they're both the same in that regard. Um, one of the differences for the Spark is that there's also a strobe light feature so you can turn on the strobe and you can change the intensity so you can get a short, a short strobe or a faster strobe um, and then also weight and size wise um, very comparable this one's a little bit lighter because it's a bit smaller but um, the anodized aluminum body on this one will also distribute heat a lot better so you won't get it heating up at all um, for the light comparison we're going to use a light meter We've specially adapted this one with a light post, so it'll be similar to a scope. There will be some variation if you try it out, um, depending on where your light post hits inside the scope when you attach it. Um, there'll also be a little bit of difference just because we're using a light meter. Um, the reading might be a bit different from what you would see, but in direct comparison, you would get the same numbers when you're, when you're looking at both lights um, concurrently. Um, one other thing. For our spark light sources, we have a focused magnifying lens, so you will get a bit more out of the 3 watt inside where the lens will magnify it and it'll hit the light post a little bit more directly. So starting with the other handle, we're going to connect it, turn it on to full illumination, and you'll see that you're going to get a number that's close to about 195, um, around 190. So the illumination on this one that it's putting out on the max range for the light meter is about 200, um, maybe even a bit less, around 190. If we go down to the spark and see what that's at, again, with the magnified lens that's over top of the 3 watt, when we turn this on, you're going to get a reading that's going to be about 470, 475. So in comparison, it's over two times as bright, and you're still getting the same um, amount of time per battery, and you're still getting the ability to control the illumination. So even if you wanted to, you could drop down the illumination to around the same level, around a 190 or 200, and you would get a longer life out of the battery that way. Um, for any more questions or for any details on these units, you can definitely find us online. It'll be fiberscope.net, or you can call us and talk to us directly, 1-800. 239-9934. Thanks a lot for watching.